Hey, welcome back, guys, and welcome to another Reputized video. So, The Happy Time Murders. That's a pretty interesting movie. And I don't mean that in a positive way as much. Starring Melissa McCarthy and directed by Brian Hansen, this is a story of puppets getting killed. It's about retired 90s sitcom actor stars who is basically puppets gets killed. Phil Phillips, who is the puppet lead in this, leads up the investigation. Him and Melissa McCarthy's character used to be real big back in the day. They used to be like the best of partners. They were both cops until something horrible happened. So now Phil Phillips, the puppet, is a P.I. So he goes on to try to investigate these murders. And along the way, you have sex jokes, you have vulgarism, you have cussing, you have this, you have that. It is definitely not Sesame Street, folks. <laughs> the company actually issued it as, if I'm remembering correctly, No Sesame, All Street. This is one of those vulgar adult type comedies. And Melissa McCarthy, go figure, if she's going to be in it, it's not going to be a friendly family movie. No matter whether it stars puppets or unicorns or this and that, it's not going to be for the kids. This movie, you know, in a way, going into it, I wasn't really expecting much, but I have been a fan of Sesame Street when I was like a kid. So going into this movie, I was kind of... I was kind of curious to see where they would take this. And I knew it wasn't going to be no family fun friendly film. I always pay attention to rating folks. I always pay attention to what they say for the ratings. This one was uh, sexual crude humor, adult content, cussing, sexual references. I know I mentioned that. That's basically what it is. Just sexual all around. <laughs> like I said, it's definitely not for the kids. The lighting in it, you know, I, I gotta talk about how it was filmed. It, it was done decent. You know, I'm not faulting the filmmakers and how they actually directed it. It was just, the story was just so tongue-in-cheek and it was so cheesy. You know, if you stay in the end credits, they actually show bloopers and how they actually made it. And it was actual puppets, but with people dressed up in green costumes or green screen so that they could be phased out and make it look like the puppets wouldn't look hung on strings. So I thought that was pretty cool. The music was awesome. You know, the, the, the movie literally starts off with an old school 90s rap song called Nappy Roots, Good Day. So they mix it in with a little bit of old school rap and some 80s music, which I thought was pretty good. But all in all, the movie was just dumb, tongue in cheek. Stupid jokes. Melissa McCarthy, as always, she is a hoot. Every time she shows up on the screen, she, she kills me. She pretty much kills me. Ever since she started in Mike and Molly, which I think was her first acting gig, and then she started breaking out into these movies, I just, I love her. You know, she's there's she can't do no wrong. But that was the only highlight of this movie. The rest of it was okay, but I'm not going to give it a good rating, folks. It's going to get a C. That's my opinion. It, it just wasn't all that great. It's just like any other comedy that's made. You can't get away from sex jokes, doing pot, smoking weed. That, that, that's what society's comedy nowadays is pretty much boiled down to. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon, folks. Like, subscribe, and get reputized. Peace to everyone.